Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a palm tree out of words in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. All right, I've opened Adobe Illustrator, and now I'm going to create a new document. So I'll come over here to Create New. I'll go to Print up here at the top, and then I'll choose Letter. And then we'll come down here on the bottom right to Create. Okay, so the first thing we're going to create is the background text that this whole shape will be made up of. So first I'm going to hit T on my keyboard and that'll get me to my text tool. I'm going to click and drag a box that we're going to fill with text. And if you have a newer version of Illustrator, you'll already have a bunch of fake text in here. It's just, it's just filler text and it doesn't mean anything. So the text I'm going to type is beach life. I'm going to add a space at the end because I want to copy and paste beach life a lot of times. So I'm going to command A or control A on a PC to select all, copy, and then hit my arrow key and paste. And then I'm going to do that again. Command A, command C for copy, arrow to the right and paste. I'll keep doing this. Command A, command C, arrow, command V, until I have a lot of text. And if you hear me say command a lot, you can just change that to control and it'll work for PC. So control A, control C, arrow, right arrow key, and then control V. Okay, so we've got a few lines now and I think I want to change my font. So I'll go up to the character palette, and if you don't see this uh, bar up here, you can go to Window, Control, and it's right here. So we'll go to the character palette, and I'm just going to choose the font After Grows. Our cursor is still in text mode, so hit Escape, and that will bring it to just select the whole thing, and you'll be on your selection tool. So let's zoom in now by hitting Z on our keyboard, which takes us to the zoom tool. And I'm just going to draw a box around everything that we've typed. And as you can see, it's very uniform and I don't really like that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll hit T again to get to my text tool and I'll just click in here and hit enter or return and then space this over a little bit. And same with that next line. With Illustrator, you sometimes have to hit return or enter at the beginning of the line for it to register your spaces. So I just like to put a little bit of jaggedness so they don't all line up perfectly because I think it looks kind of weird. Okay, so we're still in our text box and I'm just going to hit Command A and then just copy and paste this several more times within this text box like we did before. Okay, now I've gone outside the text box. There's a lot more text that you can't see down here. So I have this little red plus over here, but I'm not going to worry about that because I think my entire tree will fit in this area. Okay, so let's go out to vecteasy.com and we're going to get a palm tree that we can just paste in here. So I'm gonna to go to my Chrome window. Okay, let's just search for palm tree. And really, any one of the more simple ones will work. So you want ones not with these tiny little hairs on them or anything like that. Well, they're not hairs, they're leaves, but um, this one looks pretty simple and I think I'm just going to use that one. So let's click on that and I'm going to come over here and download it. With Vecteasy, you can use their images for practice, but if you want to use them for commercial purposes or anything like that, be sure to read their licensing agreement and it's right down here and you can kind of uh, click here and learn more about it. We're just using these for practice so it doesn't really matter. So we don't really need to worry about it. And it'll start downloading in the bottom left corner of your Chrome window. You'll be able to see it here. Now click the arrow and choose Show in Finder. And this will show you where Chrome sent that. Usually it's going to be your downloads folder. On a Mac, that is going to be Option Command L if you want to get there quickly. Uh, on a PC, it'll usually be over here in your favorites, your downloads folder. 
Okay, so we have a zip file. And to unzip the zip to get to the files inside, all we need to do on a Mac is double click. And it'll create a new little folder like this with some files inside. If you're on a PC, just right click and then choose extract or extract all. And you'll also get the same result. It'll make a little folder also that you can get in. Okay, so we're going to use the EPS file. I'm just going to click and drag it onto my Illustrator icon. And it'll open a new document with all those palm trees. Now with my selection tool, I'm going to click this palm tree. And luckily it's not grouped together. If you have a different file and they're grouped, you can always do shift command G to ungroup them or shift control G on a PC. Okay, so let's click this, copy it, and then paste it into our other document. All right, and I'm going to hit shift and just get on this corner here and resize. Okay. Now I don't really like these coconuts. I just want the shape of the trees themselves. So we'll click off and I'll just click once on that coconut and delete it. And the same with these others. Okay. I'm going to hit Z to zoom in. And I don't want these little pieces either. I'm going to get on my group selection tool again, click one of them and then do select same fill color and it should select all three of those little pieces. And then you can just delete those. Now the way we're going to get this text inside this shape is to make the top shape, which is our tree, a mask. And a mask has to be very, very simple. Right now we've got this path and this path and a lot of different paths. We've got different colors going on. We want everything to be just one piece, a simple shape. So let's come over here to the Pathfinder. You can also find this under window if you don't have it open. And we'll come over to the shape mode and choose the first one, which just sort of mashes everything together. And that looks like it has worked well. We have no more little crazy things inside. We've got a very simple shape to put our words into. Okay, so let's select that and then also hold shift and select the words. So we have both of these selected now, and now you can just hit command seven on your keyboard or control seven on a PC. And we have our words masked into our shape. And that is pretty cool. Now you can still get in there and edit your text if you want to. So to do that, just command click on your text or control click on a PC, hit T, and then you can highlight some of that text. Maybe you want to move it a little closer together vertically. Ooh, that's really close or horizontally, but you have to worry about like these gaps right here at the end of the line, they're going to cause a problem with the text there. So I'm going to undo that. Okay. And now I'll get back on my selection tool and I think we are good to go. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.